Hi guys, so for this video I'm going to use yarn in size 2. So we'll start by making a slip knot. And now we'll make sure that our chain is not twisted. And now on the last chain from the hook, I'll make a slip stitch. So now I'll chain three. Then in the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Now in the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. So this is going to be our first corner and now I will chain 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and now in that same chain I will make 1 double crochet. Now in the next chain I will make 1 double crochet and in the next chain 1 double crochet. So. This is our first corner. Again now I will chain three. I will skip the next three chains and through the fourth chain I will make one double crochet. In the next chain one double crochet. And in the next chain one double crochet. Again I will chain three. Then I'll skip the next three chains and through the fourth chain I'll make one double crochet. In the next chain one double crochet. In the next chain one double crochet. Chain three. I will skip the next three chains and through the fourth chain I will make one double crochet. And next chain one double crochet. And next chain one double crochet. I will chain three. I will skip the next three chains and through the fourth chain I will make one double crochet. In the next chain, one double crochet. In the next chain, one double crochet. Again, I'll chain three. I'll skip the next three chains and through the fourth chain, I'll make one double crochet. In the next chain, one double crochet. In the next chain, one double crochet. I'll chain three. Then I'll skip the next three chains and through the fourth chain, I'll make one double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So see now, let me just show you something. So as I told you guys here, we have this first corner and then we have six sets of three double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So now that we have six double crochet sets, we're going to start working on the next corner. So between each of these corners, we're going to have six sets of 
three double crochets. So now for the second corner, I'll chain three. Then I'll skip the next three chains and through the fourth chain, I'll make one double crochet. In the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. In the next chain, one double crochet. And now I'll chain five. Then through that same chain, I'll make one double crochet. Now in the next two chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. This yarn is so soft. So now we have two corners. Again now I'll chain three. I'll skip the next three chains and through the fourth chain I'll make one double crochet. In the next two chains I'll make one double crochet in each chain. Chain three. I'll skip the next three chains and through the fourth chain I'll make one double crochet. In the next two chains one double crochet in each chain. Chain three. I'll skip the next three chains and through the fourth chain I'll make one double crochet. So we need to have four corners, okay? So we have one right here. Then we have six sets of three double crochets. Then again we have a second corner. Then we'll have six sets of three double crochets. We have a third corner. And again here six sets of three double crochets. Then we have a fourth corner. Then again six sets of three double crochets. So now to finish off row one, I will just chain three. Then right there through that third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Looks like my son woke up, so I'm gonna have to go very soon. Or well, otherwise he won't be able to hear anything. But before I go, I'm gonna show you how to make uh, row two. In the next two chains, I'll make a slip stitch for row two. Now right here through this five chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain three, then through that same five chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Again now, I'll chain five, then through that same loop, I'll make three double crochet. Now I'll chain three. Then right there, through the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys will be able to hear me. Because his voice is very powerful. Again now, I'll chain three. And then in the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three, then through the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three, then through this next loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three, 
Then through the next loop I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. Then through the next three chain loop I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. Then through the next three chain loop I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. Then through this next five chain loop, which is our second corner, I'll make three double crochet. I'll chain five. Then through that same three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. Then through this next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. In the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. In the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. In the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. In the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. In the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. In the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. In the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain five. Because this is our third corner, so I'll make three double crochets right there through that same loop. Chain three. In the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. Then through the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. In the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Looks like I'll be making the whole second row on the camera because in the beginning of row two my son was making noise and right now he is kind of being quiet so let me just finish this whole row on camera in case you didn't hear anything in the beginning of row two. So I'll chain three again then in the next three chain loop I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. In the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. In the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. In the next three chain, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. In the next five chain loop, which is our fourth corner, I'll make three double crochet. Then I'll chain five. 
Then right there to that same five chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Uh oh. Chain three, I'm almost done. In the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Again, chain three. Then in the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. Then in the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. In the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. In the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. In the next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain three. And then in this last three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. So now to finish off row two, I'll chain three. Then right there through that third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row two. Before you start row three, in these next two chains, you will have to make a slip stitch, then a slip stitch through this five chain loop, and then you continue row three. So there you go, guys. From now on, we repeat row two for the pattern. So just repeat row two for the pattern. I'm not sure if I'm just going to use this one color in here or if I'm just going to blend it to this one as well. Or I'll see if I have enough yarn, then I'll actually just make this with the color A and maybe use some kind of edging or border stitch with this color. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. But regardless, if we choose to use one color or two colors, the pattern will still remain the same, except that we will have to switch the yarn depending on how you actually decided to blend the colors. So yeah guys, just repeat row two for the pattern. So this is what we have so far. Let me just measure how wide this this square. Well, from one corner to another is around uh, ten and a half inches. And all of it together is uh, around 30 inches. So from here to here is ten and a half inches and from one corner to another it's around 30 inches. So remember we increased in four corners and then we followed this in half to make it look like a triangle and now right here, let's see on the left side where this corner is, we're going to count. Okay, so first we're going to count this five chain space as one, then those next two loops, two, next two loops, three, next two loops, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Now right there to the fourteenth loop, I'll use a stitch marker, and in my case I'm just going to use some yarn in a different color. So now we're done with this corner. Now let's do the same thing for the second corner. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Now right there to that 14th loop again, I will use a stitch marker. Again, in my case, I'm using yarn in the opposite color. So here, this is one stitch marker and there's another. And now we are just going to work from one stitch marker to another and in, in round. We are not going to work here where this loop is, where we left this loop, because this is just going to be a loop for sleeves. Okay? So, now I'm just going to make a slip knot, then right here through this first three chain loop, see? Where I made the stitch marker, right through that loop. I will insert my hook, then I will chain three. Then right after that same loop I'll make two double crochet. Chain three. In this next three chain loop I'll make three double crochet. I hope this will work. I never made this before, I just had this idea. No. Chain three. Then through the next three chain loop I'll make three double crochet. So we will basically repeat this until we reach this five chain loop. So from now on we'll only be increasing in these two centers, the front and the back. So just repeat this until you reach the center here and then again even here you're just going to increase the same way. So you're just going to make three double crochets through that loop, chain five and through the same loop you make three double crochets. And then you basically have to repeat what I told you before. And then I'll come back and show you what to do for the second corner. Now that we have reached the second stitch marker, I'll chain three. Then through this next three chain loop I'll make three double crochet. chain three, then again through his next three chain loop I'll make three double crochet. Now we can remove the stitch marker because we won't need it anymore. So we will actually repeat this throughout the row. And then for the next row as well, right here through this three chain loop, we will make three double crochet. So for the first part, we increase on four corners. And then when I actually divided the sleeves, see, right here, from here to here, then from that row, which is our second part, and starting from that row, I actually increased only in two corners, the front and the back, the front and the back. Okay? It's very important to remember that. Alright guys, so let me just measure this for you for a minute. If you want, you can make it even longer. That's totally up to you. But the person I'm making this for likes the length as it is, so I'm just gonna stop now. But if you want yours longer, just continue working it around until you reach your desired length. I really hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say because I'm trying to recover from a cold and I'm not really sure how well you can understand me because my voice sounds different. So to finish off here, after we join with a slip stitch, we'll just chain one, then we'll cut this yarn. It's easier to do this with a yarn needle, but they always disappear when I need them. Alright, so now you can wear this as it is, and if you are size XL and double XL, this will fit perfectly, but if you are size M or L, this opening right here on the neck is going to be a bit too big 
So I'm just going to make at least one or two more rows. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe half double crochets or something like that. We'll see. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. See what works. So anywhere in any chain really you can just uh, insert your hook. Chain one then through the same chain we'll make one half double crochet. In the next chain one half double crochet. And in the next chain one half double crochet. Now right here through this three chain loop I'll make two half double crochet. In the next three chains, I'll make one half double crochet in each chain. In the next three chain loop, I'll make two half double crochet. In the next three chains, I'll make one half double crochet in each chain. In the next three chain loop, I'll make two half double crochet. In the next three chains, I'll make one half double crochet in each chain. In the next three chain loop, I'll make two half double crochet. In the next three chains, see, those are three double crochet chains, I'll make one half double crochet in each chain. In the next three chain loop, I'll make two half double crochet. And then we repeat this all around. So in every three chain loop I made two half double crochets and in these next three double crochet chains I made one half double crochet in each chain. So we repeat this throughout this row. So now to finish off this row right here through this first chain I'll make a slip stitch. And now for the last row, I'll chain one, then right there through the same chain I'll make one single crochet. In the next chain I'll make one single crochet. In the next chain one single crochet. In the next chain one single crochet. In the next chain one single crochet. So I'll continue making one single crochet in each chain throughout this row. And this is the last row. So yeah, we'll repeat this throughout this row. Now to finish off this row, right there through that next chain, I will make a slip stitch. I will chain one and then I'll cut this yarn. So this is how it looks finished. I actually like how it turned out. This will fit anybody from size M to double XL. It's just one of those blouses that will fit most people. And believe me when I tell you that it looks way better when you put it on than it does here, laying flat. Trust me. Alright guys, this is how it looks on a mannequin. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. I really, really like it.
So that is all for today guys. Thank you so much for watching.